All right. Game two. Let's go. I know it says Quato scheduled, but the rotation gets thrown off and all this, and obviously he's not starting. So they're going to go with... Martin Perez, another lefty. Will you, uh, excuse me, we'll have Irvin Santana on the mound. Does Danny Santana have any business leading off this game? He does not have a hit. I'm not going to replace him with a lefty. I'm going to move him out of the top spot, I can tell you that. Uh... But I'm not going to change the lineup all that much. I'm going to put Polanco in the leadoff spot. Just to change it up. Just to change it up. I'm sick of Santana. He, he's 0 for 4. Or 0 for 15 in his last four games. Other than that, no changes. I'm going to put Justin Morneau at first because he has... His fielding is pretty much the same. He just has a slightly better reaction and, and arm, so that's the only change we're going to make. Let's go. Brackets if you want them. Right, let's get the stream... Uh title updated here. And there we go. I want to welcome everyone to the stream. Appreciate the good turnout tonight. Second game of the American League Championship Series. We've already stolen one. No matter the outcome of this game, we've already taken home field advantage away from the Texas Rangers. Twins lead 1-0. They won game 1-3-2. Scoring three runs in the ninth. What a comeback. And now, your Texas Rangers. <laughs> Adam, the sports guy. Adam, the sports guy, welcome. Appreciate it. Jason L. Miller, also with the follow. Appreciate the follows, guys. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Special thanks to out there to all of our followers, as well as to our subscribers. Welcome to the American League Championship Series, game number two. Ready to go? Jorge Polanco to lead it off. Let's begin. First pitch is strike. Oh, this guy works quickly. Martin Perez. No wind. Flags are pretty much dead out there. Polanco from the leadoff spot pops it up to shallow center. It's no worse than what Santana would have done. And now it's Brian Dozier. Clutch hit in the last game. So no MVP for Dozier. <laughs> it went to our pitcher that we've had on the roster for two and a half months. Great. Ground ball into the shift. That'll be 4-3 on the putout, two away. And in steps Miguel Sano. Well, after starting with a 500 batting average going into this game, he went 0 for in, his, uh, in game one. And that average in the postseason has dropped to 353. No balls, one strike to the slugger, Miguel Sano. And he's going to tap one to third. 
a quick one, two, three inning. A lot of contact, but nothing particularly hard. To the bottom of the first we go. Texas coming to bat. They'll face Irvin Santana. Here's Elvis Andrews having a good postseason as well. Two home runs, five RBI. Had a pair of hits in yesterday's game. First pitch from Irv is just a bit inside. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. Hope your weekend went well. Glad you could make it into the stream. JK with you here doing some MLB The Show. That one's to shallow center. And it's going to drop in. Just like last game, Andrews is going to lead off for the Rangers and pick up a hit. Batting second, center fielder, Carlos Gomez. Carlos Gomez, the batter. Well, I said it last time that this situation occurred. This is not a double say, a double play scenario by any means. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to step off for a second. I don't know if anyone saw what happened there. The uh, hit and run was clearly on, and we intentionally threw it away so that it would he would miss, ma ma wouldn't make contact. The ball hits Gomez. The ball hits Gomez. He swings at it. And so it's a dead ball. That is hilarious to me. So it hits him. It's a dead ball. It's a strike. And the runner can't advance. Now that's funny. No balls, two strikes. D Man DeFran, welcome back. Nice to see you. Yeah, we uh, completed a three game sweep of the ALDS, the division series, on Friday night. Didn't expect to sweep it. We did. Here we are in the first two games of the championship series. We came back from a 2-0 deficit in the ninth to win game one, 3-2. Swing and a miss. Gomez quietly back to the dugout after getting hit by a pitch and swinging at it. Throw over to first, a bit high, and Andrews dives back into the base. He's safe. You're not going to get that extra step on me, I'm sorry. First pitch, finally, fouled off. One ball, one strike. Andrews at first base. He has plenty of speed over there. Popped up. Jimenez flings the mask, and it's caught for the second out. Ah, don't apologize. Don't apologize for being busy. We all have busy. We all get busy at times. It's all good. Of course, if you want to catch, if I have. Uh, Twitch Prime, so everything stays in the uh, vault on Twitch for 60 days, and I'm putting all my postseason games on my YouTube channel as well, so feel free to go back and check those out. Guys, never apologize for not being here. I'm typically not going to apologize for not streaming for a few days, so we all have lives. Probably. <laughs> Real life always more important than this. That one's hit well. Center. Santana still going at the track, and it's caught for the third out. We're through one. Zero, zero. Top of the second we go, it's Justin Morneau. 0 for 3 in yesterday's game, hitting 187. He has a run driven in and a home run, of course. Just like the Boston series, we begin facing lefties in games 1 and 2. Oh, 
What am I smoking? What did I do? Twitch is life. <laughs> well, not maybe maybe later. Not yet. <laughs> Just trying to keep it real here. Oh and two. Ooh, thought I was gonna break. I like how I have to justify every strikeout. I don't have to, but I tend to. All right, Kenny Vargas. A good regular season. So far, a very good postseason. A couple hits in yesterday's game. He steps in for the first time, and again, batting from the right side. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. As he takes a ball. <laughs> oh, that one's straight up. We'll return the favor. Jimenez with a pop-up catch. Now Lucroy is going to catch one. Brings up Eddie Rosario. Very quickly, two outs here in the second. Rosario takes a slider just above the shins for a strike. Tricky Nicky, you always do. Inside pitch for a ball. Um, we've had a couple moments where we had a pretty big hosting where we've had more. But no, good turnout tonight. Glad you guys could make it. I find Sunday night to be a pretty pretty good time to do this. Ball and two strikes. What happened to the baseball there? Kind of stuck. Rosario ropes one to right. That's going to drop in for a base hit. <clears throat> yeah, that was a weird, weird ball. I don't know what it was doing. Two down. Here's Danny Santana. Demoted to the seven spot in the order. We'll see how he handles that. No, Red Box, I'm not. Should I? <laughs> Santana has his first postseason hit. He went 0 for 15 in the leadoff spot. And now, lines a base hit to left. Right Apparently he just Bobby didn't want the pressure of being the first batter. I haven't encountered many bugs in this game. I feel like maybe we had one last game with the run, but thankfully that didn't matter. I haven't seen a lot too many. One and oh, here's Robbie Grossman. Just ahead of that one. Fouled it off. First and second, two outs. That one's upstairs. I, no, I don't, you want to explain that to me, Redbox, please? I feel like sometimes I'm just out of the loop of things. Like you mentioned League, League of Legends earlier, that, I mean, that honestly doesn't interest me all that much. I get the, I get the appeal of most things that people watch, but... Two and two... Inside, and the runners will be moving here on the pitch. Three balls, 
two strikes. Hit to right field. That will be caught. Twins leave two runners. We're into the bottom of the second. Joey Gallo will be the batter to start in the Texas half of the second inning. Danny Santana on the mound. Threw a magnificent game. A two-hit shutout in game two of the division series. It also helped that the Red Sox were just hacking away at everything he threw. Zero regard for whether the ball was in the strike zone or not, and zero regard for putting a ball where the fielders weren't. So far, the Rangers have shown they're a bit more patient at the plate. One and two. That one's away. I mean, let's be honest. The Red Sox handed us that division series on a platter. It's almost as if they definitely did not want to play the Rangers. Just like, here, you guys go do it. That's seriously what that series felt like. Gallo strikes out. Batting six. Catcher. Jonathan Lucroy. See, I don't think we do that. I don't, I, there's, we don't really do that in the States. Or not. At least I don't. Not that I know of. Is that a worldwide thing? Or is it just Canadian? or Because I, I don't know. Batting seven. Designated header. <laughs> SLP, you're, gonna, you're not going to let that go, are you? I have no regrets. We won. Hit the inside corner. Two strikes. Doesn't chase the 92 mile per hour fastball, and it's one and two. Back to back strikeouts in Santana. So far, so good. We're through two. <laughs> the Black Sox all over again. So it's worldwide. I've never heard of it. Leading off for the Twins, catcher, Chris Jimenez. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of college athletes here in the States that play in the Olympics. Like, a lot of them. And there will be a lot more this year in the Winter Olympics, uh, as far as hockey is concerned, since the NHL is not going to the Olympics, there's going to be a lot of people in the NCAA that do play for the United States. <laughs> SLP, you'll get over it, man. You'll get over it. I'm over it, so... Let's all let's let it go. <laughs> Jimenez tried to send one the other way. Not really his thing. And it's a ground out to first. And here's Jorge Polanco, number seven hitter normally, hitting in the leadoff spot. He's 0 for one. up high. I'll have to look into that because I've never heard of it.
Two balls, one strike to Jorge Polanco. Sending one to right center field. That might drop. It will not. And now Dozier. Dozier, 53 home runs in the regular season. He has hit one in the last two weeks. Turned on and fouled to the left side. Ball and a strike to the second baseman, Dozier. Ooh, change up in there. That's one and two. It's always thrown as the circle change to Dozier. Shift was on, so that ball up the middle is not a good choice. Two and a half complete. Oh, over <laughs> SLP. SLP is still upset that I threw a specific kind of pitch uh, in, a, in the division round. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Quickly, Santana ahead 0-2 here. Two hopper to short. All day, Polanco. One down. Well, the Rangers going down easily here. Ryan Rua, the batter, did not have a hit in game one. Pitch on the way from Santana. is a, Oh, I thought for sure that was a strike. It was basically rolling off my tongue that that was a strike, and we did not get the call. One ball, no strikes, and now Rua swings and fouls that one off. Two and one. To center. Santana under it. He makes the catch. Two away. As we approach midnight in the central time zone. Ten out west. One in the east. Wherever you are. Glad you could make it in. For our Twitch stream, Sunday Night Baseball, MLB The Show, our Twins franchise. As we are in the postseason. American League Championship Series. Twins up one game to nothing. Winner will face either the Mets or the Giants, or excuse me, the Pirates. The Mets or the Pirates. Mets already up two games to none on Pittsburgh. 1-2 on the way. Through the hole, and a base hit. Fielder number 14. And now Carlos Gomez and Andrews aboard once again. Very fast out there. See if he tries to take second. 1 0 to Gomez. He takes a strike. Count even at one. Quick throw to first. Andrews back. Gomez takes two and one. Mm. 
Just what we need is two really speedy runners aboard. Come on. Come on, Irv. Focus here. Three and one, and... Wow. We're not getting that outside corner like we would like. Or the outside entire portion. Wow. All right. Andrews at second. Gomez at first. Two away for Rogned Odor. As he fouls it off. Fastball away. It's not the left or the right side, it's just the outside corner, apparently. Upstairs, two and one. Santana getting squeezed badly here in this third inning. Fouled off, and it's two balls, two strikes. Oh, that ball's going to get away. Well, now the force out at any base is eliminated, and the count is full. And even worse, a base hit scores two. We'll do it again. Three balls, two strikes. Rinse and repeat here. What do we got? Pitch number eight. Come on now. Walked him. Base is loaded. Golden opportunity for the Rangers as Nomar Mazzara will come in. 0 for 1. He takes a strike. Very important to get ahead in the count here early. 0-1 oh, to Mazzara. Strike two called. Now we can throw some junk. 0-2. Oh, Chases it and fouls it off. We're already at 51 pitches. We were in like the sixth inning when we had 51 pitches last time. One and two. Got him. Rangers leave the bases loaded in the third. Big strikeout to end the threat. Two hits apiece. No score. We go to the fourth. Miguel Sano will be the batter. Sano, Morno, Vargas, the next three to face Martin Perez. Sano takes a fastball for strike one. If you're just joining us, the American League Championship Series is underway. The Twins took the first game by the score of 3-2, to two, scoring three runs, all three runs in the top half of the ninth inning. Sano takes a fastball outside. Sano hit three home runs in the division series. All of which came in the first two games. He's going to swing and a miss. Pitch hit the ground. He'll throw down to first for the out. Now batting the first baseman, Justin Morneau. Justin Morneau will be the batter. The lefty-lefty matchup. With one out, nobody on. That is such a good pitch. From a lefty to a lefty. Morno inside outs himself there down the line and foul. No balls, two strikes. And he stays alive. Always interesting when you hear footsteps upstairs. 
Morneau shoots it to the hole on the left side, but plenty of time for the out. We have Morneau signed on for one more season with the Twins, and I can't help but think his speed's going to drop even more next season from 19 to maybe 17 or even 15. Here's Kenny Vargas, a pair of hits in yesterday's game. Perez has thrown that change up with ease. Inside, ball, one. ball to strike. Nope, outside. Two and one over fifty pitches for Perez. Liner, a base hit. Vargas continues to scorch the baseball. He's aboard. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie Rosario. I'm going to grab something once this inning's over. Two down, Rosario the batter. He takes a strike. Lips are dry. What happens when you talk all the time? 0-1. Oh to the right side and through. Vargas better hurry. I think he's going to get forced out at second. And he is. Can't help this. Ah, bottom of the fourth we go. I'm going to step aside for a few seconds. Watch the animation here. Leading off in the Ranger fourth. Third baseman, Joey Gallo. What I miss? What I miss? <laughs> Santana waving off a sign, apparently. Strike call. Bottom four. No score here from Arlington. No balls, two strikes. Nope. For a called strike three, didn't get it. Again, missing away. And now two and two. That one's going to be just foul as Morno. Looked like he misplayed it. He had it in front of him. He must have known something I didn't. To the right side, Dozier playing shallow right. Charges it, makes the play. Four to three on the putout. Jonathan Lucroy will be the batter with one away. Slider for strike one. Lucroy's numbers against Santana are awesome. He's five for ten. Swings and pops this one up, but that one's going to be into the stands. A long strike. It's two. Excuse me, no balls and two strikes. That one's driven, and that one will carry out of the park and gone. One nothing Texas. Jonathan Lucroy gets the Rangers on the board first in game number two. That is a massive fireworks display. They're very happy they scored. Over the bullpen, 420 feet. Twins have come back from 4-0 and 2-0 already in the postseason. And if they're going to win game two, that's going to have to be the case once again. Sue 
Tapper, Santana, fields his position well, throws it over for out number two. Now batting, first baseman, Mike Napoli. Mike Napoli steps in for the Texas Rangers. That one just misses. It's 1-0. Crushed to left and just foul. That narrowly, narrowly missed the pole. Wow. That couldn't have been more than a couple feet away. Yikes. To center, lazy fly ball. Should be caught by Santana. He's under it. And there we go. We will indeed see SLP. I don't know. Got to get something going here. One run is nothing. We have five innings to do it. So We head to the fifth. Texas with a home run from Lucroy. The difference. Well, it's hilarious that Danny Santana went 0 for 15 in the leadoff spot. Demoted to the number seven spot in the order and promptly came up with a base hit. One for one here. As he faces Perez. Tapper in front of the plate. Throw over to first and gets him by a step. Now batting, right fielder, Robbie Grossman. Here's Grossman. What a game he had yesterday. Three, three base hits, including scoring what ultimately became the winner. Ball, no strikes to Grossman, and that one way inside. He has to jump out of the way. It's 2-0. and Up and in. Three balls, no strikes, which means no swing. Best pitch we're going to get all at bat. Three and one. Look how it's dead center. Grossman late on the fastball, and he pops it up to shallow right. What a shame. Up next for the Twins, catcher, Chris Jimenez. So two down. And it's Chris Jimenez. Solid postseason for him. He has played significantly more than Castro, who has been the regular starter. But with our left-handed batting order, we faced more lefties than righties, so he's gotten um, plenty of opportunities, and he's done well. Barely a 200 hitter in the regular season. Hitting over 350 right now. Swings and misses. And it's one ball, two strikes to the catcher, Jimenez. Ball up the middle, but played nicely. Jumping throw. Everyone's Derek Jeter. And that's it. Halfway home, Texas one, twins nothing. Here's Rua. Ryan Rua taking a strike to start off the fifth inning for the Texas Rangers. Boy, way ahead of that one. Went with the inside fastball and got him to foul it off. See if he can do that same thing with one near the letters. Indeed he does.
again. The 0-2 to Ryan Rua. Doesn't bite on the breaking ball. Urban Santana, 70 pitches with nobody out in the fifth. Bullpen, bullpen plenty rested. Only Glenn Perkins has thrown in this series so far. And an off day tomorrow to travel back to Target Field. Two and two. To short. Polanco. Sidearms one over to first. And the out is made. Should be a good crowd again on hand for the uh, the uh, championship series. Took place games three, four, and five. J Rod seven twenty nine. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Glad you could stop by. Hope you're enjoying yourself. A little tapper. Throw to first and Sano with a nice play. Two down. The speedy Andrews trying to bunt his way on. It didn't happen, and Carlos Gomez will step in with two down. Check swing, and he makes slight contact, popping it up on the infield, but it falls quickly, and it's 0-1. To center, Gomez flies out to his counterpart to end the inning. Five innings complete. Very low scoring. One nothing. Minnesota with the trailing. Oh, they are trailing the Rangers. It's late, man. I'm tired. Holy cow. Talking is hard. Jorge Polanco. He's over two. He's flied out twice. They're getting Matt Bush ready once again. Seems like a mistake. Ball one, no but we shall see. Perez throwing very efficiently. 64 pitches through five. He's got Polanco nope. Inside, ahead of the count, 2-0. and oh. Strike called. Went with the changeup. Two balls, one strike. Polanco batting out of the leadoff spot. I don't know if he's done that this year. I'm not sure I like it. Let's see. Work Slayer with the follow. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. Liner to left. And a base hit. Thanks for all the follows tonight, guys means a lot. Thank you for the support. Appreciate all the great conversation as well. All right. Nobody out. Polanco at first and Dozier standing at the dish. Pitch number 70 from Perez is ball one. Dozier takes a fastball that's at the knees and one that skitters across the plate by a mere seam of the baseball. It's one and one. Dozier's going to fly out to deep center. Out recorded, 4 0. Just got under it. Where has Dozier's power gone? Just hasn't had it the last 10 games or so. Snow has, just not in this series. Three home runs in the American League Division Series against Boston. A no-show so far against Texas. One out. He swings late at the 95-mile-per-hour fastball. Pitch on the way. Way outside. A ball and a strike. My goal is to get this playoffs done before my vacation, which begins Saturday. 
I won't stream Friday night because we're leaving extremely early on Saturday. So we're going to try to bunch this up over the next few days. So no, hits it to right. That's carrying, but just shy of the warning track. It's caught for out number two. And we're going to see a new pitcher, Martin Perez. So, <laughs> it may have pulled something in the old groin region. The old groin region. Fortunately, he's able to walk off under his own power, which is a good sign that it's not torn. Perez will need to be replaced. I don't know why you're telling me. I'm not replacing him. So, a new pitcher. It'll be Dario Alvarez, another lefty. 3-1, and one, an ERA just over 5. Justin Morneau, the batter. Two down, Polanco at first. First pitch to Morneau is high and tight for ball one. Slider changeup to go along with it. Morneau is late. And a fly out. Three fly outs in the inning. That's not going to do the job. Five and a half complete. Texas won. Twins nothing. Rognet Odor will lead off the Leading sixth for the Rangers. Rangers. Here at Globe Baseline. Life in Arlington. JK with you. Glad you could join us. Odor 0 for 9 lifetime. And hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. By me saying he is due for a hit, which he certainly is. Pitch on the way from Irvin Santana. Misses away. Here comes pitch number 80. Down the first baseline and foul. And again, we are going to cram a bunch of games into uh, the next five or six days. But uh, once we are finished with the 2017 season, we are going to take a break from the show for a little bit. My streams will consist of something else for a week. And it sounds like I'm going to go with... I have not played Madden yet. Madden 18. I still have not played it. I've had it downloaded for five days. I have not touched it. Um... Uh, the Dirty Intruder. Appreciate the follow. Welcome to the stream. The Dirty Intruder. I like the name. That's awesome. Two and two. Um, I have EA access on Xbox, and Madden has been sitting there. I guess that just shows my interest in it. Odor now 0 for 10 against Santana, by the way. So I thought about it. There's a possibility we'll start a franchise with Madden. Uh, I'm leaning toward NHL 18 for our uh, franchise, though. Uh, again, I'm always taking advice from what you guys want to see. Uh, if I do NHL, I will d start an expansion franchise. A 32nd NHL team, not the Vegas Golden Knights. I'll start an expansion franchise, send them to a different city, and go from there. But but I think what people are tuning in to the channel is for f an offline franchise, and I want to continue that. I'll still do other stuff on occasion, but I want to do what you guys want to see. Because that one's driven to left. NBA 2K is still a possibility, even though I'm not a big NBA guy. Um, it's a great game, but I'm just not a big NBA guy. But we could have some fun with it. I mean, it's deep. That franchise mode is deep. It's a very playable game offline. There's a strike call. And I hope I've made it very clear. I'm not neglecting the show once we're done here with this season. I plan to get back into 2018, just not right away. I'm going to take a break. I will stream. I will just stream something else for a while. Thanks for the follow. Your 
your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rangers. All right, they're going with Matt Bush. Kenny Vargas, the batter, and we saw Bush last game. You can see his energy level is only at about 75 to 80 percent. Fastball, curveball, slider, etc. Always one where I swing badly. Vargas on 0 and 1. Mm. Breaking ball. That was a good one. Really good pitch to swing at. Didn't matter. It's 0 2. 1 0 Texas. Top 7. One ball. Lays Two off three. of it. It's 1 and 2. So there's that. There's a possibility of Pro Evolution Soccer or FIFA. Um, I don't know. We'll figure something out. A lot of these games I'll have the opportunity to play bef either via demo or via early access. One and two. Don't know if he went. He did. <laughs> Squint and hope. Cross your fingers that he didn't go around. That was not the case. It'll be Eddie Rosario. One out. Nobody on. Matt Bush on the hill. Pitches upstairs. You should see how the expanded franchise would work. Yeah, I have no idea what it entails. They haven't really gone into the details of it, so I don't know. We shall see. Two balls, one strike. Ooh, he gets hit in the right leg, and Rosario is aboard. Yeah, and I get that not everyone's a big hockey fan or whatever. That's fine. But I got to play games that I like too. <laughs> you know. I want to like Madden. Like, I really want to. It just hasn't been my thing for a while. And I will try. I've got 10 hours worth of trying that I still haven't started yet, but. Danny Santana, the batter. 0-1 pitch. Oh, he, that's a big curve that we couldn't get near. 0-2. Come on, Danny. Stays alive as he goes with another curve ball in the same spot. 0-2. To Danny Santana, Rosario at first. Curveball is inside. Kind of going counterclockwise with these curveballs based on location. One and two to the center fielder. That one's in the dirt. Rosario will remain at first. Two and two. Pitch on the way from Bush. Curveball, that one was in the zone. Two balls, two strikes. He's thrown five straight curveballs. 2-2 two, two again. Lofted to right. Carrying. Get going, guys. I will get to that follow here momentarily. Izzy and Henry, thank you so much. 
Santana or Rosario had to hold up because I thought he was going to catch that for sure. So unfortunately we couldn't score him, but Santana has himself a double. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. New pitcher, Tony Barnett. Saw him before, too. Uh, I plan on... Sorry, SLP. You plan on doing Madden right now on Twitch. No one doing franchise, mostly uh, Madden Ultimate Team. I... Like I said, I'll try it. I, I want to like it. I want to. And anything I start, obviously, will be in a couple, at least two or three weeks. So, again, this week, baseball. Next week, vacation. Then we'll get back to it. Robbie Grossman. Curveball for strike one. That was a beauty curveball. Gutsy to start out with a curve like that right down the middle. Upstairs, one and one. Football franchises would work really well on Twitch, too, because you can get. I mean, I can play a couple games in a night and. Maybe. Shoot. You can play two or three games easily. You could probably play a game quicker than you can this, I would imagine. One and two. You get through a season in a couple weeks. Oh, Grossman late on the fastball away, and it's two outs with two second and third. Just seems like a lot of pressure trying to pick a game, you know? I've got games that I know I'm going to play, and I've got games that I want to play, and I've got games that might work. And... I'm glad you understand my troubles here. <laughs> You're feeling my pain. 1-0 here is Jimenez. Waiting his first hit of this game. Jimenez lines one foul. Got good word on it. Best opportunity so far for Minnesota in this contest. Second and third. Now two outs. That one's away. If anyone else has any input on what on the subject at hand as far as our next franchise, please chime in. Back up the middle. It's through. One run will score. We're going to send the second one to the plate. He goes. He's safe. Twins pick up a pair on the Chris Jimenez RBI single, and they have the lead and once again have come back after relinquishing the first run of the game. Chris Jimenez on a ball right up the middle. Two runs score, 2-1 Minnesota. Top of the order for Minnesota, it's Jorge Polanco. Been, we've had some wild ball games here in the postseason. They've all been good. They've all been very good. 0 oh, and 2 to Polanco with Jimenez at first. Ah, I thought I was going to drop in for a curveball. There I go, justifying my strikeouts again. Or trying to. Barnett strikes him out, but the damage is done. Twins up 2 to 1. Time to stretch. Jonathan Lucroy, who was responsible for the lone Texas run, which was the only offense up until the top of the seventh. Lucroy takes a strike. We're up at 90 pitches for Santana. What to do, what to do. Get a couple of guys ready here. Just in case. Fouled off. It's 0-2. Luke Roy looking to stay alive in this at bat. It takes a fastball. That narrowly misses the zone. 
<laughs> the Minnesota miracle continues. We shall see. Strike three called. Lou Croy does nothing but stand there and watch. In disbelief, Santana records the strikeout. One away in the seventh. Here comes Shinsu Chu. Turns on the first pitch and fouls it hard into the stands. Santana getting tired. Called strike. 0-2 on the way. Look out. Wow, that one off the top of the dugout. Sent many of the twins scrambling for cover. That one just misses. Peters. Peters 1315, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, that one made the bucket. Nice. Been watching a lot of these. <laughs> Missed the bucket. Good for you. Near the stands and foul. Pitch to Chu just misses. And now count even two balls, two strikes. Upstairs. We're going to have to get Santana out here shortly. This is pitch number 100. The payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Down goes Chu, and I think that's going to do it. Uh, one more. One more. He struck out the first two. One more. Finish the inning, buddy. We also have the bigger cursor now. Finish the inning. 0-1 oh, to Napoli. Ooh, nowhere near. And it's 0-2. Oh, and, See if we can chase it. He does! Santana strikes out the side in the seventh. We head to the top of inning number eight. Twins with the lead, 2-1. to one. Irvin Santana strikes out the side, and now the Rangers struggling with their bullpen as Jeremy Jeffress will come in to pitch and face Brian Dozier, Miguel Sano, and then Justin Morneau. Two seam, knuckle curve, fastball, sinker. Got it. There's that curve ball in there for ball one. So what's that going to do with our bullpen? Both Shears will sit. We'll go to Kinsler. No, we'll go to Strickland. Connor Strickland will come in. One and zero oh to Brian Dozier. Same pitch, same location. 2-0. and oh. Wow, nowhere near. That one way low. Three balls, no strikes to Dozier with Miguel Snow waiting. Four-pitch walk. And now Sino, who flew out in the sixth, still looking for a hit in the series. Had an amazing division series, and so far in the championship series has done nothing offensively. That's baseball balancing itself out, I would I would assume. Jeffress has yet to throw a strike. Six balls, six pitches. Oh, Captain Cool. 
Captain Cool 285, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate the support, guys. Welcome aboard. That one stayed in the bucket too. Nice. Three and zero. There's, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna swing. Why would I swing? Three and zero. Hey, he threw a strike. Finally, that one at 97 miles per hour, and now we go. Three balls, one strike. To the third baseman and power hitter Miguel Sano. And that's a two-seam fastball. Full count. Liner to the right. That one's going to go all the way to the wall. Dozier round second. He's going to head for third. And now we're going to send him home. To the plate he goes. Dozier is in there. So now with an RBI double and the Twins pick up an insurance run in the eighth. It's three to one. Sano had a 3-0 count. Jeffress battled back, but Sano lines it the other way. Now with nobody out. And a runner at second. It's a dangerous time for the Rangers. Justin Morneau steps in. Takes the ball outside. Twins already up one game to none. Looking to steal both games in Arlington. Pitch on the way to Morno. Fouled off. Twins have played some of their best baseball down the stretch and continuing it into the postseason. One and one, and Morno turns on it, fouling it off. One and two to Morno. Liner and a base hit. Unfortunately, Sano does not advance. That was all automatic. Ball that was lined right to third. You'd think he was going to catch it. He did not. Nothing hurt. They will give him an error, in fact. It must have said he should have had it, so that's an... An error. As Vargas tries to make it six to one. Nobody out. First and second for Kenny Vargas. Curveball is inside. One and one to the designated hitter. Sometimes I read that well, and that time, not so much. One and two. Again, he goes back to the well, the curveball inside. Nothing doing, two and two. That one's in the dirt. A full count. He has yet to throw that two-seamer. Or the four-seamer. All breaking ball so far. There it is. And it'll be a double play. Second for one. First for two. Sano advances to third. But all at the expense of a twin killing. So Eddie Rosario who is one for two, comes up in a two-run game, trying to extend the lead to three. Liner to center and hit well. To the track, to the wall, it's off the wall. One run scores, Rosario into second with a double. It's 4-1 Minnesota. Rosario wastes no time, a pitch at the knees, but right down the middle. Banks it off the wall in center. Sano scores. It's 4-1. to one. 
And now Danny Santana. He takes the ball. Where the Twins have struggled, have not been able to score in the early innings of this series. Santana, who has singled and doubled in this game, may have found a new home in the bottom half of the order. 1-0. Ground ball right side. Should end the inning. Or at least the top half of the inning, and it does. Twins pick up another. It's 4-1. Hunter Strickland, the new pitcher. Now pitching for the we'll face Ryan Rua, who is 0 for 2. Swing and a miss, strike one. <laughs> Sheldon Dolly 754, thank you. Thank you so much, Sheldon Dolly 754, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Glad you could make it. 0-2 pitch. That one's a bit high. So two balls, two strikes. Clamp God, welcome. How you doing? To left. Should be easy. Rosario squeezes it, makes the play. Pitching matchup Santana was awesome. Couple walks. But eight strikeouts. Martin Perez, not bad. Doesn't give him any runs. I mean, that's really the goal. What what the event about? Are you, I don't know what you're saying. About time? Are you, are you <laughs> ALCS, Twins franchise. We've come from behind in each of the last three games. Strickland trying to put the clamp down. One and two. Oh, man, another strikeout. Texas has four strikeouts from their last five batters. Remember, Santana struck out the side in the seventh. No balls, one strike. Ugh. I got one ball, one strike. What player do we use for the event? I have no idea what you're talking about. I gotta be honest with you. I don't know what the event is. Um, <laughs> I, I swear to you, I have no idea what you're talking about. Three and one. Rognet Odor waiting. Let's see if we can not get to him. Okay, full count. Oh. They're going to say he went around. <laughs> that's the second time that's happened. It almost broke the game. The game froze for a moment on my screen. He strikes out despite getting hit by the pitch. Your attention, now pitching for we got the Gomez Rangers. to swing on that hit and run, which killed the play. I'll take it. All right. Ninth inning. 
Yeah, exactly. With Gomez. <laughs> that was that was hilarious with Gomez though. That strikeout right there was kind of sad. Five strikeouts of the last six. That is amazing. It's quite a stretch. Robbie Grossman already taking three pitches. He'll take a fourth, but this one's a strike. Oh, this is setting up nicely for uh, Glenn Perkins, should we fail to score here. Three lefties do. Grossman takes again, and it's full. Appreciate all the support tonight, guys. Getting close to wrapping up this stream, but still time for conversation. If you want to talk about anything else, I'm down. Grossman, the leadoff batter, reaches base, and here's Jimenez. He's singled in the seventh. We've got Sam Dyson warming up again. We rocked Dyson last time. Do they really want to consider that? I wouldn't. 0-1. Jimenez postseason has still continued to be outstanding. That one's in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Mm -hmm. Pitch at 98. That's not where my PCI was, really. One and two. Nope. Curve ball misses. Now two balls, two strikes. Already up three. Twins were down one nothing midway through the contest. Lined a base hit. We'll advance over to third. So first and third and nobody out in the eighth. The batter, number 11, shortstop, if we can just step on the Rangers' throats right here, that would be great. Top of the order for Jorge Polanco. Jimenez, another two-hit game. Blanco takes inside. Fouled off. One ball, one strike. To the shortstop, Jorge Polanco. We'll do it again. Really no reason we shouldn't come up with another run here. Strike three called. He went with the fastball there. I honestly wasn't expecting that, but that's fine. One down. Can we get Dozier some friggin' power? It's like someone took away all his power. And he suddenly can't hit. DDOM22, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Real good turnout tonight. Appreciate you guys coming in on a Sunday evening, a Sunday night, for some MLB The Show. 3 0 to Dozier. Thanks to our followers. Special thanks to all of our subscribers. Really appreciate all the support you guys have given over the last few months. Three balls, one strike to Brian Dozier. Wave and a miss. Full count. 
Dozier to right. We're going to try and score the run. Runner tags. This could be close. Throw to the plate is not in time. It's off the mark. It's 5-1 Minnesota. Now batting. Third baseman, Miguel Sano. Dozier picks up an RBI on the sacrifice fly, and Miguel Sano will be the batter. He doubled in his last at bat, an RBI. He takes a fastball that's up and away. Edge of the zone. Ooh, wave and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Ninety-eight mile per hour fastball. Sano down swinging. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Texas down four. Leading off at the bottom of the ninth. Second baseman. Rogdan Odor will lead it off. Buddy Bo Shears ready to go for the Minnesota Twins. Not a save situation. We'll go to Bo Shears with a trio of lefties due up. Kind of been that lefty specialist all year. If we can get Perkins to not pitch back-to-back -back games, we know 100% he'll be rested for game three. We'll see what happens here. Boshears ahead in the count, one and two. Ground ball to second. Dozier on three hops, fields it, throws to first for the out. The game is starting to be in the refrigerator. <laughs> but not quite on ice. Curveball just misses. One and one. Oof. Bo Shears gets him on that sinker. One and two. Let's give him the big hook here. Got him. Two down. Bo Shears, man, he just mows lefties down. This curveball runs inside. It's one and zero. Oh. Twins will be back home for games three and four. Five is nets if necessary. Wave and a miss by Gallo. To the left side and through. The shift was on. This will go all the way to the wall for a double. So the Rangers not quite done yet. Jonathan Lucroy steps in. Sinker for strike one, just on the inside corner. To short. Polanco to first. And the Twins steal both games from the Texas Rangers in the American League Championship Series. Twins are now 5 and 0 in the playoffs. Talk about getting hot at the right time. Twins score 5 runs in the final 3 innings and win 5 to 1, holding Texas to 4 hits. Unbelievable. Urban Santana, obviously the player of the game. He threw an outstanding ball game, eight strikeouts, a couple walks, gave up just one earned run. It was that home run to Lucroy in the fourth. And exactly right, SLP, third game in comeback fashion. We came back from down 
one in this one, down two in the previous game, down four in the third game against Boston. Box score if you'd like it. You gotta love Danny Santana now with a couple of hits. He's now hitting 105 in the postseason after being demoted to seventh in the order. Polanco picks up a hit. Jimenez continues to be strong. 462. But we're probably not going to see him much until later in the series as he's only hitting when there's lefties on the mound. It's a good problem to have. It's a real good problem to have. Considering Jimenez hit, I think, 195, somewhere between 195 and 200 in the regular season, that's a great problem to have. Bo Shears does not get a save. It was a four-run lead when he came in. Okay. That's awesome. Up to zip. All right, guys. Wink City. <laughs>